Before we start diving into Google Analytics, I want to make sure you understand what digital analytics is and what role Google Analytics plays. So let's dive into a bit of history. Back in the early days of web, companies started building websites to provide information such as company name, location, product, services, etc. It was very static information. Companies were not selling products or services online at that time. Sites were like a brochureware of the company. All these websites generate data. Data on how many people are coming to the site, what time is the busiest on the site, where people are clicking on the site, what pages they are looking at, how many bytes of data was downloaded, bandwidth consumed, etc. All this data is collected by the web server and written to web server logs. These logs were mainly viewed by a person whose title was webmaster. This person reported in the IT department. His or her main job was to maintain the site and make sure server had enough capacity to keep the site up and running and handle the traffic. As internet started to become more mature, marketing started to ask questions about how many hits the site was getting, what people were doing on the site, how much time were they spending, etc. Marketing started getting involved into making sure the website was serving the needs of their customers and answering customers' questions about the company and the products. Online shopping started to pop up as well. Websites became integral part of business and marketing. As a result, website investments started to grow. Since websites were becoming a big investment, CEOs and CFOs started asking about the value of the website. They wanted to understand more about website performance and figure out if it was worth the investment. And that's when the field of web analytics was born. Web analytics is a measurement, collection, analysis, and reporting of the data for the purpose of understanding and optimizing web usage. That's according to Wikipedia. Since the early days, many other marketing channels have come into play, such as search, email, social, interactive TV, apps, etc. All these channels have become integrated piece of business and marketing efforts. Website is still central to everything, but it's just one piece of the puzzle. And all of these channels are all linked together since they impact each other. Companies are now spending millions of dollars on various channels. So it is critical to not only understand user interactions with the website, but with other channels as well. Marketers and CEOs want to understand how is the whole ecosystem working? Hence, the field of web analytics turned into the field of digital analytics. There are several different tools in the market that provide reporting on different channels. There are tools for social analytics, tools for email analytics, and tools for web analytics. Google Analytics started out as a web analytics tool, which was primarily focused on reporting on websites. But lately has been adding more and more functionality to bring other channels in the reporting. With the whole ecosystem of other tools such as Google Tag Manager, Google Optimize, Data Studio, etc. that integrate with each other makes it an excellent digital analytics tool. And it is no surprise that it is the most widely used digital analytics tool in the world. In this course, we are going to dive into Google Analytics and see how you can use it for your digital marketing and digital analytics efforts.